Susan Winter here answering one of my viewers' questions. Eric is so upset by this great relationship. Everything was wonderful. They got in their first disagreement. She won't talk to him. She blocked him. She's dumped him. And he's got no recourse, can't even explain himself, can't get to conflict resolution. If this has ever happened to you and you were left holding the bag thinking, oh my God, I lost the greatest person in the world, listen up, because this will apply to you too. So Eric wrote, writes, good evening, Susan. I'm reaching out because I was in a relationship with this girl and it ended after our first fight. Things were going so well, so easy, and it took our first fight for her to completely shut down and have me chase her until she ultimately broke it off with me. I'm heartbroken. I have so many questions that'll never be answered. She blocked me on everything, so I can't contact her. Eric, <laughs> I'm glad you contacted me, and here's why. Unless you did something to physically aggress against her, unless you screamed at her, yelled at her, or you assaulted her, this type of reaction is so over the top for a, an argument, a first fight. That's the reality of being in a couple. You will not agree on everything. And I don't know what you were talking about. I don't know the nature of it. And that's probably really important, but you can tell that's a trigger for her. But here is what you're not seeing. And this is the point that you or anybody else in this type of situation right now, agonizing over, oh my God, I lost this wonderful person. When we see behavior like this, that is not warranted, meaning the response is so out of proportion to the issue, right? If the issue is like this, the response should be equal. But whatever this disagreement was about, that response is over the top, irrational, and should show you immediately that this woman, this girl, that you thought was so perfect, so easy, everything was so great, no. You hit one speed bump on your path to couple them and she completely freaks out. You need to reassess this. All that you chased her, you tried. Here is where we have to preserve our dignity. I don't want you groveling. This person does not have a skill set to talk to you. If you took this relationship fast forward, and let's say it was a smaller disagreement, I promise you, this behavioral dispositional trait that you are seeing right now would come back again and again and again and again. And you're only looking at what you think you've lost because it's running away from you and it was so new that you thought it was easy. Well, it's not easy. This person came out of their bag and showed you that the minute there's a disagreement, they block you. They don't get to conflict resolution. You cannot maintain a friendship with somebody who cannot work through issues with you. If the partner that you have is unwilling, unable to talk to you, sit down, be an adult, talk to you, be mature, listen to your side of it, articulate what bothered them and agree to disagree if it's something political or something like a movie or a restaurant or tell you some deep-seated problem that they have that should be revealed to you. I have a trigger because uh, my last boyfriend was controlling. And when you said that you had to go to this kind of a film, it made me feel like, oh my goodness, look at what I'm looking at. I'm gonna be living with this. Then you could have a chance to say, I didn't realize I'm not really a controlling guy. Oh my goodness, you should have told me. You never made a selection, so I made a selection for us. Thank you for telling me. You could have gotten to conflict re resolution if the girl had been mature enough to tell you. And if she's going to break up with you, if any of you are dumped, they should give you a reason. What irritates me is that I have to 
put the pieces back together again for people like Eric, like my clients, and like those of you watching, because the person left you shattered and didn't bother to do their job. And their job was to communicate. Something as pivotal as we're breaking up deserves a conversation, deserves a why more than we had a fight. So if you are now listening to this and you are musing about the fact that you think you have oh, just lost your chance at love, lost this incredible, wonderful person. It's never going to be another. It's the last bus. You're never going to get it back again. And you're thinking, oh my God, oh my God, I did it wrong. And you're beating yourself up and you just, you're heart sick and you're not sleeping at night. Yeah. I want you to get above the chaos and take a look with fresh eyes at exactly what you've been experiencing. What you have been experiencing is somebody that is not a capable partner and the accumulative effect of this is never reaching conflict resolution which means the love the happiness the joy dies natural causes and attrition over time because what kills long-standing relationships is the lack of conflict resolution things just never get fixed and the burden is so heavy that the love dies along with it. In order to have a relationship that grows and flourishes, we need to be able to talk to each other. And so you, Eric, were willing to talk. Your partner was unwilling. And because they lacked that skill set, made sure to block you because they're, you know, they don't know what to say, they're uncomfortable, they just want to be rid of you. This would have never made a great relationship. I know the beginning, very seductive. The beginnings of relationships are always incredibly seductive. We think the whole thing is going to be like that. No, it's not. The beginning is the beginning. That's the honeymoon period. When things get real, this is what happens. I'm glad you found it out now rather than later. And I'm so, so, so sorry for the burden that you are wrongly carrying because the burden is actually on the other person who didn't have the common decency to tell you what it was or to even let you speak or apologize. You're looking at something that would repeat throughout history, the entire history of your relationship. Okay. If any of you have a question, go to susanwinter.net. Uh, they're on the last page on the contact page. In the nav bar, there is a form that's a little box. You click on that and it'll open up and I will read it or we'll have somebody take a look at it. We get to as many as we can. We have dozens that come in every couple of days. So I will do the best I can. And thank you, Eric, for this. Uh, if you want a consultation, go to susanwinter.net. Just look at the consultation page and check out my merch line. Really cool, fun stuff. Different phrases that will keep you motivated. Some kind of slap them back, make you feel a little bit sassy. Thank you, everyone. And please tune in again.